Sophie, his 13th birthday. Gift, we've got you. Guitar, coming tomorrow. Road game today, surprise party tomorrow. Uh, change of plans. Game tomorrow. No, birthday tomorrow. Oh, no, oh, no. Guitar, reroute. Birthdays are on birthdays. Party, relocate. UPS My Choice makes rerouting packages easy. Wow. How we're helping companies solve for the needs of customers like Sophie. Welcome to another edition of Z360, I'm Scott Nixon. In today's show, we get to know the captains of the football team, we have another Z360 challenge, and we sit down with men's soccer player Adam Najum. Senior Adam Najum will go down as one of the greatest players in Zip's program history, and we talk to him to reflect on his time here at Akron. It's a journey, for sure, and there's a lot of things that people don't really know about that goes on in, in that process, and I'm a little, you know, in terms of not getting things done, it was a little disappointing, but just realizing that process and understanding what really goes on and coming back here and then having an understanding of what's going to happen later on, is, I think it really helped me out. And just coming back here for another year is, is a blessing in disguise for me. And I'm really happy I'm here and looking forward to what the rest of the season entails. The education is, is very big in my, my family. My, my brother went to Columbia, my sister went to Barnard, which is part of Columbia. And, my mom, my mom actually made me promise that I would finish school regardless if I, if I go play early or not. But I actually had to sign a piece of paper for her going going into college. So uh, education has always been important, and that's something that's something that's always been important for myself, just in terms of getting good grades and continuing my education no matter where life takes me. My four years here, we've won both the regular season and the MAC tournament. So that's that's really the only thing on my mind right now. It's just getting through the next game and continuing to improve each and every game and when tournament time comes and we show everyone what we really have and hopefully bring another MAC championship here and continue from there. Every year is different and every group of guys is, is different but the thing with Akron is every single season everyone integrates well and everyone has fun with each other and my freshman year we had guys like Aiden and and Brian and Robbie Dershing and everyone like that that went pro and then sophomore year, junior year, we've had guys like Richie and Souders and everyone and I mean this year is no different. We have a lot of talent and that's what Akron is every single year. We have a lot of talent and the way we integrate is, is amazing every year and I mean, I'm looking forward to what happens in the future for the guys on the field and who, the players that come in in the future as well. As I said before, each, each year brings new teammates and new people that that have really helped me grow as a person and a player. And I mean, the group of guys that I've been here for four years with Robbie Dambra, Brad Ruhak, Tyler Sanda, uh, everyone on this team has, has really helped me out. And those three guys are actually my roommates now and Brad and I share a bunk bed. So if you, if you wanna know how close we are, then that's how close we are. But uh, no, I mean, just all four years here with those guys and every single year new guys coming in is, People don't see what we do on the practice field day in and day out and in film sessions and just coming out and on the field and bringing it all together really means a lot but all the hard work that we've put into it in terms of fitness and, and playing and struggling through moments, everything has come together into just a great four years for myself and this, this university as a whole. Jared, Jared has been nothing but great for me and, and he, him along with Caleb recruited me and and I had, I had doubts about when Caleb left, about where I should go or not. And once they hired Jared, I knew this was the only place for me. And I mean, he really showed faith in me in coming in freshman year. And I had my ups and downs in the beginning of the year. I think I had zero goals, zero assists in 10 games as a freshman. And I always look back at that and, and think he could have pushed me to the side. He could have showed no faith in me and just put me to the side and just said, oh, all right, wait for next year. But he continued helping me and continued developing me and he really helped me out. And just each and every year, just even if it's a little aspect of my game, just helping me improve and all the little things in terms of film and watching everything and just working hard. He's really helped me turn into a better person and a player. No, absolutely no regrets at all. I mean, 
as I said before, Akron has really helped me develop into the player that, that I am today. And I mean, stats, stats are important, of course, in terms of college soccer and the way people look at it. But I know the way I, I've been improving each and every year. And it doesn't matter if I have 14 goals or five goals. I know, I know the type of player I am. And I hope a lot of people see that in me. And I feel like I'm more well-rounded than I have been since freshman year. In terms of it sinking in right now, it hasn't. And just being around the great players each and every day has, has only made me better. And I, I credit my teammates and my coaches for that. And if I do go down in history as one of the best hacker players, that, that really doesn't mean anything. In terms of whatever we want as a team, that's the most important. And right now, my fondest memory is, is not any of the awards that I've received. It's, it's been going to that Final Four. And hopefully this year, we can go even further than that. And that'll probably be my best memory I have here. Zips football teams led by captains James Turner, DeAndre Scott, and JoJo Natson, and we caught up with them to discuss the honor of being a team captain. Well, it was a very honoring feeling. Um, this is my fifth year here. Uh, I tore my ACL a few years back, and you know I had to put in a lot of work just to be able to get back and be able to play the game the way I was comfortable playing. Uh, but when we they announced captains uh, early in the summer, right during camp, it was it was a very humbling feeling knowing that it wasn't just my coaches that respected me; it was my uh, my fellow peers, my fellow teammates that thought I was fit enough to lead this team. I mean, it was an amazing feeling, you know. Um, just first and foremost, being able to be named a captain by my teammates, you know, that's just an awesome feeling. Just to see that you have a, a type of impact on these guys. Um, also one of my goals that I always set out to achieve. So just being being named captain by my teammates has it's been an amazing feeling. It was a good feeling. It uh, just first off just showed me, you know, how much, uh, you know, I mean to this team and, you know, how much my brothers, you know, they trust in me and how much they can, you know, how much faith they got in me to lead the team. So it, it really brought, you know, a lot of, you know, joy to me when they uh, announced me as captain. For me to sit out one year, it was it was hard, but you know, I you know I, I grinded through it and I got through it and you know I, I worked I worked really hard and you know my teammates they they noticed it and the coaches, you know, and I'm you know I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a humble young man, but you know they say hard work pays off and I feel like that's that's one of the things that happened to me. Really, I had to break out my shell this year just to be more vocal, but um, I like to mainly lead by my play. You know, just because the fact that being able to back everything up that you say is the most important thing. So um, I think I'll say I'm a more like lead by example type guy. But a little bit this year, I didn't, I didn't became a lot more vocal as well. I'm a lead by example kind of guy, more vocal as well. Uh, I don't mind stepping up and you know just telling a guy when he's wrong because I feel like if a guy is wrong, we got to correct him now. So on Saturdays, you know, it just comes as natural instinct to us. Uh, knowing there could have been other guys, it was, um, again, it was a very humbling experience. Like we have, I want to say somewhere close to 15 or 16 guys, and a lot of them are, or five or six of us who were five, five, uh, fifth year guys, and you know, to know that they picked me out of the 18 or 19 of us that had a chance to be captain is, is a great experience. Uh, I couldn't ask for anything better. It's, you know, I think it's the most prestigious thing you could have your teammates name you outside of like, all those uh, off-season accolades you could get. And finally, we wrap up today's show with another Z360 challenge. This time, I try my luck at tennis. We're here with another Z360 challenge. This time, I'm going to try my luck at tennis. I'm here with Carly Knezovich, and I'm going to be taking some of your serves. Do you have any pointers for me or any tips? Yeah, um, make sure you bend your knees, wide stance, make contact with the ball out in front. Some top spin on it. I mean, I got pretty. I have some pretty low expectations. I'm just going for at least one clean return. So we'll see what we have here. That's a good start. Cool. <laughs> Whatever you want. I have, like I said, pretty low expectations here. Just want to get one back. Are you right handed or left handed? Right. Okay, we'll go ahead and put your right hand on the bottom of the racket. There you, there you go. go. <laughs> oh yeah, that's going to be coming in real fast.
Okay, I got you. Yeah, we're at least getting a ball on the racket. We're gonna try to get it over. No, I'm having fun. Keep it up. Daddy. Yeah, yeah, he is. Oh. Nice and easy. All right, show me. I'm gonna show you how to hold it. First all right. of all, actually, let's go. Let's I'm getting some pointers. Now. All right. So hold it. All right. This is how you hold it. Okay. Might be a little tough. Might feel weird. Okay. All right. You, no, hold it. Hold it. So try to get your shoulders into it. Turn into it because that will help you. So turn into the ball like this. Yes. When you hit, you literally bring it back this far, and then you try to go low to high. To high, and you try to catch it right here. Right, right we'll now try. you're catching it like that. Here. Oh. Got it. <laughs> we got one. I know you slowed it down, but I'm going to pretend like you didn't. <laughs> we'll take it. All right, well, I don't want to hold up your practice too much longer. All right, here we go. This is the money one, money ball. That'll be it for this challenge. Clearly, I'm not cut out for tennis. Thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great one. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Z360. Check out next week's episode as we recap Zips Jam. For GoZips.com, I'm Scott Nixon.